So we did um, interrogative and relative pronouns. Like if you wanted to say, you know, with whom are we dining tonight? You would just say avec qui. Um, just to clarify one thing. So if he's saying, when she's saying it's the object, okay, I don't, she doesn't mean thing object, she means object of the sentence receiving the action, okay? So that's why, for example, the second example, who do you like? Um, we start with key because it's her, it's who, but we need it ka because it's the, it's the direct object that's receiving the liking, okay? It's not that I'm saying this person is a thing. Um, it's not an object in that sense. It's receiving the action. All right. I'm going to get some volunteers. They can do it off the fly. Would Le Chevre be, it would be a thing? Yeah, sorry, animal rights activists. We're going to consider animals as things. Um, Chevre, goat, we used to stop. Reverse it. Reverse it. It's not a person, so you start with cook, because you're like, oh. what? What is angry? <laughs> and then you end with key because it's a subject. Sorry. <laughs> so. Good and Brigitte, what happens with that cut and s? 
Yeah. Sorry, you caught it up in the top. What's kind of nice too is the the end of these pronouns follow the same rules up top: key plus verb, could plus subject. So you see, it ends with key plus the verb a. So that can always help you out too. All right, Brian. Johnny Day for the. Okay. Yeah, so he waits for the bus. What does he wait for? Good. And then check it out. What would happen with the k and the eel? It's a subject. Oh. It would be q u. Yeah, we would go qu'est-ce qu'il attend. So take off the e. Mm -hmm. At the end. Of At the end, too. Voice is up. <laughs> Do you see why, Brigitte? Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, and plus with a with a big line, you can't really tell. All right, la dernière numéro trois, the title of chapitre 2 from Français 1. Qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que you got? Qu'est-ce que tu en fais? Mm hmm. Excellent. Vous avez des questions pour la groupe? Um, an example of quoi would be um, Avec quoi est-ce que tu écris? With what do you write? Avec is your preposition and then you put quoi after. Right, and so that would be an example of, yeah. Avec the preposition, any of my sur soudan, devant derrière, those are all prepositions. Chez, um, at the house of, so like she, chez qui, va tu, to whose house are you going? Um, de, like what are you thinking about? De quoi, about what? Penses tu? C'est très bien expliqué. On peut applaudir pour la groupe. Woo! Thank you.